Welcome to highlights of the 8th Benson Hedges World Series Cup game. This between West Indies and Pakistan at the Sydney Cricket Ground. A vital game for those two teams. These were the sides announced at the toss. The West Indies, Richardson, Haynes, Lara, Simmons. Logie Adams, Hooper, Murray, Benjamin, Ambrose and Patterson. Keith Arthurton has been relegated to be 12th man. And Pakistan have a strong side in the field. Javed Miandad, Ramiz Raja, Amir Sohail, Salim Malik, Inzamam ul Haq, Asif Mushtaba, then Wazim Akram, Rashid Latif, Mushtaq Ahmed, Waka Yunus, Atta ur and Said Anwar is the 12th man. The West Indies won the toss and decided to bat. We join it now in the fourth over. It's none for six. Waka Yunus is the bowler. Desmond Haynes is taking strike. Here's Greg Chappell and with him is Bill Laurie. Good positive start by Pakistan. Big shout for LB, they're looking for, he could be gone, Wire, he's in trouble. But he's out. D took a while to turn. A good piece of fielding, that's a disaster for the West Indies, but Brian Lara backed up a wrong way, and the throw was direct, hit the middle stump, and that's the first wicket down for 10. Amir Sahail is the fielder in this uh, incident. Desmond Haynes doesn't respond to Brian Lara. Brian Lara slips as he turns, and that was enough. Thank you very much. Well, that is the sort of thing that is posing problems for the West Indies. That was a, just a straight-out careless stroke to ensure he is still there. And in fact, he's hit it straight up in the air to backward punt. It's out straight to Wazim Akram in the uh, mid-wicket position. There's nobody in the circle on the leg side. Richie Richardson wasn't sure which way Mushtaq was spinning. He decided that he was going to go down the wicket and get him on the full, which he did. Oh, it's got to be, yes, he's got him, direct hit there, and Hooper can't believe it. Well, my first reaction to him was that he was in. Let's see what exactly happened. Hooper is not the slowest on his feet. A direct hit. The old leg stump goes out the ground. Oh, he's bowled in. Yes, I think he dragged that one back on. That was a quick delivery, again, well pitched up. Jarvis brought him back into the attack. Gus Logie on his way out. Have a look at this then. It's Pat on. He's given him. Hitting across the line to the wedge side. It was good length. It was full. Wacker Eunice is happy. Did a pitch outside the leg stump. That's the only question to be asked. Watch where it pitches in line with the stumps and straightens up. Good decision. Jimmy Adams was well forward, but well and truly out. LBW. Haynes on 96. Well, pitch is gone. He's yorked him. Hitting the stump very high. Trying to hit that fine down to third man. The end of a fine innings. Ozan Akram is pleased with his results. Desmond Haynes is out for 96. Just four runs short of his 17th century. Junior Murray pushes it to mid-wicket. Trouble and he's gone. Good hit. Little underarm throw. Side on. No problems. Thank you very much, says Jarvid. On your bike, Junior Murray. That's the eighth West Indian wicket down. Jockey over beautifully bowled. Straight and full, and there goes the stumps. A proud weapon. And so does Wacker Yunus on the Pakistan side. His off stump has been knocked back with just about the perfect delivery at the end of a one-day game. This is why Wacker Yunus is feared around the world as one of the best bowlers to tail enders because he's always straight and he's always full. Short of a good length and stump vision shows you that Kirkley Ambrose never went near it. Well, that was a good performance from the West Indians. They've certainly made a match of it. If their bowlers perform and their fielders back them up, they are in with a big chance here against a strong Pakistan batting lineup. This is the West Indian card. A top score, Desmond Haynes, 96 from 148 balls. Richie Richardson played very well and he made 33 from 55 and then uh, Jimmy Adams 17 from 26 towards again 9 for 240 in the West Indies and the Pakistan bowling good effort from the two top men there Wasim Akram 1 for 37 and Waka Yunus 3 for 29 1 for 38 for Amir Sohail who's uh, turning into a good all-rounder and 1 for 50 for the leg spinner Mushtaq Ahmed so it's 215 at 4.3 per over and a tough assignment for Pakistan In the air and out. No ball called. Well, that's umpire Darrell Hare there. 
and what luck for Patrick Patterson. He's just gone over the line. That's out for sure. Radio and Patrick Patterson really is enjoying it. Having got one with a no ball, he's now found the outside edge. This is a lovely outswing from Patrick Patterson. Just nips off the wicket too. Ramiz Raja gets the outside edge of the bat. And he's bowled him. It's dragged back onto the stumps. He's got a pretty good record with that new ball. And the Pakistanis in the crowd here really are enjoying this. They know how important these points are. Oh, that's straight up in the air. This will be caught at mid-off. Yes, it will. No trouble at all. This is a disaster for Pakistan. As Tony Gregg says, Amos Sahail, he's struggled with his shots through mid-wicket in this series. Doesn't seem to have timed them again. This bat comes right across the line of the ball. It's the leading edge that does the damage straight up in the air. Kenneth Benjamin comes round from mid-off. Well, that's in the air too. Oh, he's got him. What? I can't believe this. And all of a sudden they've woken up and they fall down for nine. He's gone. He's done it again. That is the Simmons dance. Not quite the part de toi. No wonder they're looking pleased. That after the other evening where they lost eight for 36 in 52 balls, suddenly they're doing the same to Pakistan. They've just picked up the skipper. Simmons, nine overs. Seven maidens, four for three. And there he goes, it's going to be caught. Oh, well done, Richard Richardson. Didn't he do well? It was a macram, obviously decided that shots were the order of the day. Perhaps one of the reasons he wasn't playing too many shots before is that it's not easy. And it's us. Inzmam will hack comfortably caught by Carl Hooper at second slip. Zimam getting a good delivery from Kenneth Benjamin. You can see the seam up. Perhaps just a little bit wide, not a great deal of movement. Oh, plum. You don't often see a batsman walk for an LBW decision, but he was on his way there before the dreaded finger went up. And was through him before he could get his bat down in defence. Michael Holding. Yes, a good straight ball here from Carl Hooper. from Mushtaq Ahmed results in a wicket for Jimmy Adams Ahmed decides to go over the top doesn't quite get onto it oh that's it Latif is out the West Indies draw the final curtain on this contest at the SCG Patrick Patterson finally wraps up proceedings for the West Indies Pakistan are all out they've managed the grand total of 81 133. That was absolute slaughter. The West Indies won by 133 runs. Pakistan all out for 81. Rashid Latif at the end, 8 from 71 balls, just trying to play out the full 50 overs. Runs for Wakai Yunus and Mushtaq Ahmed at the end, 17 and 15 respectively, and 17 for Inzamam in the middle, but nothing up the top. And Ramis Raja out from the first ball he received. That set the pattern for the Pakistan innings. All out for 81. And the West Indian bowling, just have a look at the second name on the list there. Philip Simmons, 10 overs, 8 maidens, 4 for 3, the most economical bowling figures in a completed spell in all one-day internationals. Patterson started off when uh, he got Ramis Raja. He finished with 2 for 19, 2 for 28 for Benjamin, but an injured left ankle as well. Hooper 1 for 10 and Adams 1 for 2 playing in his first limited overs international.